Hey guys, thanks for joining us at Artsphere. Today we're going to be learning about the cage system. Now, what the cage system is, is it's a system of chords and shapes that we use to familiarize ourselves around the guitar neck. And it'll basically let use our open chord shapes that we've been learning the past few weeks and basically let us explore up and down the neck and play all these different chords. So, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about is just how confusing the guitar and fretboard is. Because unlike a piano, uh, where all the notes are laid out from left to right and your sharps and flats are on the black keys, we don't have that on the guitar. Uh, we just have to kind of find those notes and know them by heart. Like on a piano keyboard, you'll always know that the C note is left of the two black keys. But on a guitar, I could play C here, I could play C here, I could play C here. You know, it just gets really confusing and it's going to be hard to put chords together and you might find yourself trapped within the first three frets playing the same chords like over and over again and basically caged kinds of kind of opens up the neck for us in that sense so where do we start well we're going to start off with the word caged so we spell that c-a-g-e-d and basically we spell that because we're going to use each letter you know each letter each chord it corresponds to each chord that we're going to use for each shape of so when I say open chord shapes, I mean chords that use the first three, like, you know, the first three frets, they use the open strings. So like C, A, G, E, and D. And that spells caged. And those are the shapes that we're going to use to be going up and down the neck. So the first chord we're going to start off with is our C, our C major C shape, our open chord C. So remember it's the first finger on the first fret of the second string second finger second finger on the second fret of the d string third fret on the third third finger on the third fret of the a string and then we pull down from the a string so this is our open c and this is where we're going to start so what we're going to do is we're going to take this c shape we're going to keep our fingers locked in the same position but we're going to move this whole shape up one fret one whole step now if you remember C to D is one whole step apart, so we're going from C to D. Now, if you strum it like this now, it's not going to sound great. All right, that sounds pretty cool, but we're not playing a D chord yet. And basically what we're going to do is, if you remember our previous lesson about bar chords, is that we're basically going to move this nut up so we can move this shape up as well. So the way we do that is we have our C shape here, right? We're going to take our first finger and replicate the nut with our finger. And we don't have, for the C shape, we don't actually have to do the entire bar, but we're going to do a little mini one on the second fret over here. We're then going to re recreate the shape with our other three fingers, these ones. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our first finger, bar the first three strings, take our second finger, put it on the third fret of the B string, take our fourth finger, take our third finger, and put it on the fourth fret of the D string. And then we're going to take our pinky finger and we're going to put it on the fifth fret of the A string. And basically, this gives us our D major. Now, if you notice, if I bring this all the way back to our first position, it's still the C shape. Now we just move that up. And now we have our D. If we move up another half step, E. If we move up another half step, that's an F. If we move up another step, that's G. And we're back to A. It's harder to play up here. But that basically sets up how we're going to use the cage system. So this is the part of playing guitar where being able to play a bar chord becomes really important because we're basically going to go in for the cage system, we're going to use our first finger as a bar for all these other chord shapes. So after C in the word cage, we have the letter A. So we're gonna take our A major shape, which is three of our fingers on the second fret of the B string, the G string, and the D string. Played like so. And if we move up a whole step up, we now have B major. I'm playing my um, A shape with my third finger, barring all three. But if you can't do that yet, I recommend just playing like this with your other four fingers acting as your A major shape. So we're gonna do this, that's B. We move up a half step because B and C is always a half step. 
that's C. We move up another whole step, that's D. We move up another whole step, that's E. And basically, we can move up the entire neck like this. And then we can do this for each of the open chord shapes that we have as well. So the next letter comes is G. When it comes to let, like um, the chords like G and D, the shapes can be kind of hard to play, you know, as you get up the neck. Because to play G, we, we do this, right? But if we were to move this up, right, it's going to be very uncomfortable to play. Like, here, I'll do it for you right now. But this is how it looks like. It sounds okay, but, you know, it's, it's a really big stretch. And I, I can't even do this one. So it's, it's more advantageous just to know how the system works rather than play all the chords. Uh, the shapes that you probably be using the most are for A and E because you know A A is like this. It doesn't require as big of a stretch as G does, and then E is like the one you saw pl me playing last week or the weeks before, where I was playing the F major chord, which is just our E major shape. So the biggest advantage that we have with Caged is that it can show us how to play the same chord in different places all over the neck. So let's start on C, for example. We'll start off with our basic caged, you know, C, right? So we start off with our first C, right? This is the C shape. It's our open C. Now, how do we play this with the A shape? Well, we're gonna find our root, which is C up here. And we're basically just gonna bring our A shape here. So this is the next letter. We're gonna spell caged out on the neck, basically. So C, A. But that's still C, that's a, it's still a C chord, it's just the A shape. And then we're going to use our G shape. It's a bit of a stretch, but that's how it looks like. That's also a C. And then from there we have our E, E shape. And then we have our D shape. But basically we can play a C all over the neck now. So we have this C, we have this C, we have this C, we have this C. It's just hard to play. But these are all C's across the neck and you can do this with every letter now. And if you start off from a different letter, let's say you don't start off from the C in cage, right? Let's say you start off from E, right? So how do we do, what do we do then? So if we start off with E, right? So we start off with our open E. What's the next letter that follows? It's D, so the D shape is next. Now where do we find our E? Our E is right here on the second fret of the D string. And now we're gonna use our D shape because D comes after E in caged, so. And then from here, we just start from our C shape again. And we start over from our cage, from the word caged. So we take our D, which is right here. And we use that in our C shape. And that's also D. What comes after D? Well, what comes after C, sorry. Well, that's A. And then after A, it's G shape. And then we're back to our E major at the 12th fret. Remember, the 12th fret repeats, it, repeats itself. But basically, that's how cage works. If you just know the root notes of where of across the guitar of where each note is. Like say for example, the C's, right? And you, you know all the C's, like you have. And you can play all these different chords all across the fretboard. And it's a great way to practice your um, your bar chords too. It's important that you start playing, you know, your E, your E shape, your A shape, maybe even your C shape. D shape, maybe not as much. Uh, G shape, probably not gonna use it. So really don't waste your time, just, Try to figure out which what's most comfortable for you. And that basically sums it up for this week's lesson. Uh, thanks for joining us at Artsphere. And this is the uh, lesson 10, and it's the last lesson in our Relaxing with Guitar course. Uh, thanks for joining us on this 10 video lesson just to get you started on guitar. I hope you've learned um, some useful stuff for how to play guitar, and I hope that you keep up with it and you know you go off to explore and learn guitar on your own because it's such a fun journey and you know things get confusing at first but it becomes even more rewarding once like the more confusing it is the more rewarding it is so thanks for joining us and um have a good week